Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we arrived here in Olivine City. And in this episode, we're gonna head to Sandwood City to get a special medicine to help out Amphi the Ampharos at the Glitter Lighthouse in order to bring back the light to guide the ships that approach Olivine. But first, we need to head through here on Route 40. Off screen, I went ahead and faced all of the trainers here in the ocean, so really all we need to do is spray repel, not go into the berry pot, get out of there. And we have 22 of them. There are no Pokemarts whatsoever in Sandwood City, so make sure you have enough super repels. You should only need about 10, but since I used all of my money, I used as I bought as much as I could. Anyways, let's just head down here, through Route 41 now. We actually need to cut through this guy. And we should be approaching Cianwood in just a second, as well as Wild Pokemon, even though I had a Repel Up. Uh, of course, a Tentacruel would appear. Uh, just what I wanted. Alright, let's see if I can ru Can I run, please? Can I please run? No, don't beam me with your bubbles. I want to run. I don't want to face you right now. I have an important mission to do. Are you kidding me? This thing's going to take me out before I can... Really? Really? With 2 HP? Okay, whatever. Let's just head to Cianwood. Oh, God. There we go. Now we're in Cianwood City. Okay, and now I need to heal up. I thought I wouldn't have to, but now I do. Alright, and now, let's explore Seanwood a bit. There are several islands between here and Olivine. A mythical sea creature supposedly lives there. A mythical sea creature? Chuck, the gym leader, spars with his fighting type Pokemon. Ah, so there is a gym here, and it contains fighting type Pokemon. Seanwood City, a port of crashing waves. Alright, well, let's go inside these houses here and see what's up with the people in town. I- I'm in shock! A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? This guy will give you a shuckle. If you accept his offer, I'm actually going to take it because Shuckle is pretty rare, so I will grab that off screen. But let's go into the rest of these houses here and see what's up. I've heard that the whirlpools around the islands are caused by the sea creature. You might need a special move to get past them. I'm sure I will. You came from Olivine? Do you remember the four islands along the way? I heard that a mythical sea creature is hiding in them. You're not the only one to tell me that. I heard that you can only see it if you have a silver wing. It must have the same scent as the creature. What? Do you, so I need a wing made of silver to see the Pokemon creature of the sea? Okay. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If you beat the gym leader here, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Okay. Well, what's going on here with this young lad? If you use fly, you can get back to Olivine instantly. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Cameron the photographer lives here. Okay, so this is where he hails from. And he's not even here. Oh, okay. Sure. Alright, I'll take another- Oh, wait, you don't? I thought you were talking like you were gonna take a- Never mind. Anyway, this house right here, I think, is where we do need to go. Let's see. Seenwood City Pharmacy. Yes, there we go. Let's enter. And, if we talk to this guy... Huh? You need medicine? Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. And we've obtained the secret potion. And it is a key item. 
My secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. Well, this is an emergency. Amphi the Ampharos desperately needs this. Alright, so... We kind of avoided this area up here. This is a new area in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Entrance to the road of the Safari Zone, and there are two new routes that attach to this. So I found this pretty cool that they compens compensated for no Safari Zone from the originals when you go back to Fuchsia, and they put one in this game attached to Cianwood. I found that really, really cool. Anyway, there's another ha- Oh. We'll have to check out what's up with Suicune later, but first, let's go in this house. I don't remember the last time someone came to visit me. When I was young, I was a Pokemon trainer too. I tried to reach the tower and dive into the ocean. I put a lot of effort into many things. Well, I take things easy now, listening to the waves and the winds on this beach. Sounds pretty relaxing to me. Anyway... Suicune, what are you doing here? Yo, James! Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, James. Let's battle now! We have been challenged by Mystery Man Uzine! His first Pokémon, Drowsy, level 25, Psychic type, Insomnia for the ability, knows the moves Hypnosis, Disable, Confusion, and Dream Eater. Alright, let's use Payback, please don't put me to sleep, thank you! Wow, I'm surprised you actually tried for Disable on the first turn. That's a little bit weird. But that's fine- Oh, I thought we would be able to take it out. Please don't Hypnosis- Uh, you Hypnosis me the second turn. Okay, well! Panko, please wake up quickly before you get your dream eaten. I know you have dreams of becoming Fortress in the near future, but that won't happen if you don't wake up. Oh, Dream Eater, oh boy. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god. Please wake up, please wake- Oh, you're not gonna wake up. Okay, well I am gonna have to switch out now. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to. Um, let's go into Quagsire. Come on, Pineco, come on back. Alright, Quagsire, you need to finish off what Pineco couldn't do now because of the dream eating. Alright. Uh, I think Surf would do the trick. I don't think we need to use Mud Bomb or anything. Come on, Surf. Wow. And now I'm put to sleep with Quagsire. Okay. Yuzine here is a troll with his hypnosis. Luckily... One of his other Pokemon that has Hypnosis doesn't have Dream Eater as well, so you don't really need to worry. Come on, Quagsire, wake up. Come on. You're about to- oh. Wow, you didn't use Dream Eater? I thought you would have used Dream Eater. Okay, well, he's probably gonna use it now if we don't wake up. Yeah, there it is. Come on, Quagsire, this next turn you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up, Quagsire, come on. That is, if you don't get taken out, my god. Come on, aw, oh, come on, come on. I think that's gonna be it, yeah, that's gonna be it for Quagsire. This drowsy, man. This drowsy. Okay. I guess I should just send in Crobat like I thought to do before sending in Quagsire, but Quagsire is lower leveled than Crobat, so I wanted it to get experience. Uh, whatever. Alright, Crobat, let's fight this drowsy's head off. That sounds a little too violent for a kid's game. Okay. There we go. Drowsy has fainted. Wonderful. Pinecone gains, gains experience. Next up is going to be Electrode, level 27. Electric type, static for the ability. With the moves, Sonic Boom, Rollout, Screech, and Thunder. And of course, my ground type would be fainted. Um, alright, Bayleaf, I guess you're gonna get some time to shine here against Electrode. Alright, as you see, I 
did use Bayleaf and Flaffy a lot during these water battles, obviously, because Grass and Electric are very effective. And Bayleaf now knows Magical Leaf, which is awesome. Better upgrade than Razor Leaf, and Magical Leaf will never miss. So, double team all you want, future trainers I battle. Alright, Magical Leaf does nothing. Wonderful. Let's Poison Powder this thing. Oh, here comes the thunder! Oh my god. Wow, that actually didn't do too much. I thought it was going to do worse. Bayleaf has pretty good defenses. At least mine does. Some, most of the time, Bayleaf. Actually, no, Bayleaf has... Uh, Meganium, I should say, has base 100 HP. So, I guess it's not that bad. Uh, let's use Razor Relief. I don't want to use Headbutt, although it would do more. Just because I don't want to get paralyzed with static. But these thunders are worrying me that I could get paralyzed here. So let's just Razor Leaf. And Razor Leaf did do more, because Electrode's defenses are pretty crap. Alright, don't paralyze me or take me out, please. Please. I'm asking nicely. Oh, come on! Ugh. Well, down goes Electrode! <laughs> it, only, it, o it only took Paralysis to do it. But next up is going to be his final Pokemon, Haunter, level 25, Ghost Poison type. Levitate for the ability, knows the moves Hypnosis, Lick, Mean Look and Curse. Alright, Crobat, let's head back out there and let's bite this ghost. Crobat ain't afraid of no ghosts, alright. Come on, Crobat. Let's do this. I probably could have used Shadow Ball as well, but... Uh, I'll use Shadow Ball next turn, I guess. Oh, it flinched. Wonderful. Shadow Ball, take out this Haunter. And there we go. That does it for Haunter, which means that we have defeated Mystery Man Yuzine. You're amazing, James. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. See you around! And now our mom's calling me, but I can't pick up the item at the Pokemart because there is none in this city. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Next time... We'll actually be challenging the Cianwood City Gym, because it's technically the fifth gym badge, before you take on Jasmine, who's taking care of Amphi right now. Although, technically, I probably should go give the secret potion to Ampharos. I will do that after the gym battle. So just hang on a little bit more, Amphi. I will be heading your way after next time.